Toyan has came out with yet another really cool engine. This time it's a miniature version of the rotary engine, which is so small, you could barely see it. I mean, look at how tiny this thing is. I don't think I've ever seen an engine this small. This engine is so tiny, it fits right in the palm of my hand. And this is the world's smallest rotary engine at a mere 2.4 cc's. That's only 0.14 cubic inches and 0.7 horsepower. It's almost exactly half the size of the see-through rotary engine that I built and I was gonna sell a few years ago. I'm gonna pull this apart and see if we could see what's inside. Here's the flywheel with the little counterweight. Just like a rotary should be, it's very simple. There's not many parts. There's only that flywheel, the rear housing, front housing, and the center housing there that houses the rotor. I'm gonna be super careful because the last thing I want is for parts to fly all over the place. I will never find them. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that rotor. That thing is the tiniest thing ever. Look at how small that is. There's my finger next to it. That thing is so tiny. And to give you an idea of the size of this thing, this here is the 4.9 cc rotary that I put together like three or four years ago. At the time, this was the smallest rotary in the world. And this is the tiny little rotary from Toyin. It is literally half the size. I mean, look at how small that is. And this is how the rotor moves when the engine is operating. This is the intake stroke, compression, power stroke, and exhaust. I'll leave a link in the description to a video that I did before with the see-through rotary engine in slow motion. You can get a really good idea for how these rotary engines work and the cycle. In an unforeseen turn of events, the housing fell off and the apex seals came out and almost got lost. But it gave me the opportunity to show you how small those apex seals actually are Look at them next to a pen. They are so tiny. How I'm going to get them back in there, I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'm going to be very, very careful. And to give you a further idea of just how small this engine is, I'm going to set the rotor of the Toyin engine inside of the rotor of a Mazda 13B. And look at how small that thing is. This here is the rotor from a 13B, and this here is the rotor from the Toyin. Tiny, tiny, tiny. But what a nightmare. I was just able to get these apex seals in with these springs. Man, these are tough. They're so small. That is, in fact, a pair of tweezers. So I'm just going to throw this whole thing back together. Let's see if we can get it started. sounds better oh I see some exhaust and some more fuel all right nice and flooded just like the rotaries like it Start it up. Let me try it again, try to keep it running. I feel like I just gotta start a full throttle. Whoa, that's hot. Holy cow. sucker sounded like it was hitting some rpm there rob dom would be proud just like a full-size rotary this thing likes full throttle all the time amazing let me try that again i like that full throttle all the time now this thing sounds sweet almost almost i mean just 
flood the flood it completely flood it the tachometer ready I have my little piece of reflective tape on the flywheel I'm gonna start it up again and just go for the gold full throttle just like the rotary likes it and let's see what rpm this hits I feel like it has a little bit of low compression which is uh, pretty common for rotaries in general but here we go let's give it a shot yeah see to run by the time I get the meter in my hand it dies oh I got like 10,000 there give it another shot come on start that wasn't bad now that sounded like a real rotary and it's melting the glow plug the exhaust fell off yep that's a rotary all right now that sounded more like a rotary to me I saw about 30,000 rpm on the tachometer before that thing stopped and that was screaming it was actually loud borderline making my ears ring which uh yeah to me that sounds like a rotary since I am actually using this engine for an upcoming project I'm going to stop right here before the engine gets damaged and do what I would do with even a full-size rotary rip this thing apart and make modifications to the apex seals because for me I think that this engine has some compression issues the fact that I need that much rpm to start it up and that the compression goes up as the engine heats up so I'm going to rip this engine apart do some modifications to the seals and I'll do another RPM test either as a separate video or when I use this engine in the project. To me, this is one of the best sounding engines that Toyin has came out with yet. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you real soon.